Hey guys and welcome back to Auto DNA. I'm your host Rishabh Rajesh and in this video I'm going to tell you everything about the Hyundai Exter Duo CNG. So what are we waiting for? Let's start. Let me just quickly show you the design specifications of the car because it is not very different from the normal extra. You get LED DRLs out here, projector headlamps with a chrome strip. Here you get a gloss black a radiator grille, a matte back finish out here, Hyundai logo here, extra badging out here. And if you go to the side, you get 175 by 65 R15 alloy wheels. Now, there are only two variants on offer here and the top variant alloys on these are different which you get in the uh, mid variant of the normal Exter. Here you see you get electrically adjustable and foldable ORVMs. Here you get body color door handles. This doesn't have a request patch. If you see over here you get a gloss black roof frame. Window area is large and if we go over here you get a gloss black textured finish out here and that's about it and you get a matte finish body cladding out here which you know gives it a SUV stance. If we go to the rear profile you get the same design uh, tail lamps like we get in the headlamps here you get this textured gloss back finish out here you get Hyundai logo here you get the XY CNG duo badge here you get the number plate housing here and here extra is written. As I told you, this is the Duo CNG version, so the CNG sticker is here. Here you get the high mount stop lamp, and here you get the shark fin and teeth. When we look at the boot space of the new extra Duo CNG, we can see there is usable space out here compared to the normal CNG version. Now, be sure that you will not get extra power or extra mileage in this, because the total tank capacity when it is single is also 60 liters. Here you get two cylinders on offer, each of 30 liters. And because of this dual CNG version, you don't get a spare tire, you get a puncture repair kit. The loading lift is a little higher than before, so you have to lift our luggage a little bit more. Here if you see, you can pull these tags on both the sides and tumble down the bent seat into one single position and you can get more usable space. So when we look at the interior of the extra duo CNG, let's first start with the door pad. So if you see, you get all the window controls. Now, as I told you, it's electrically adjustable and foldable ORVMs. So the ORVMs will open and close by the touch of a button. Here, if you see, you get auto down, uh, one touch auto down mirrors. You don't get auto up mirrors. Lock and unlock, ORVM settings, and here you get the child lock. And here, if you see the bottle storage space, it is a little smaller than few of the other cars in this segment so you cannot store a one liter bottle very easily so that's one thing apart from that if i show you the dashboard first i'll go inside and show you properly if you see the steering wheel it is pretty nice it's chunky you don't get the leather wrapped steering wheel but you get this sort of uh, soft finish out here you see the ac vents gloss black finishing this green finish for this color and if you see the instrument cluster this has been taken from the grand i10 neos and the i20 Apart from that, if you see the screen, you get an 8 inch touchscreen infotainment system with Android Auto and Apple Car. Here, I cannot show you the exact finishing of the seat because this is covered in plastic, but you get fabric seats on offer and you get a fixed headrest. In this car, you in this particular one, you get a manual transmission only with a petrol engine. And here you get the option for the CNG and petrol finish, the traction control on and off and headlight level. So let me show you some of the other things in detail while sitting inside. Okay, so now if you see here, you get the instrument cluster option. So you can change the different things from here. Go down, you go up, you get all that. You don't get cruise control in this particular version. Here you get all the infotainment screen options. And you get a C type fast charging port and a USB and a 12 volt charging socket as well. You get automatic AC on this, no dual zone climate control, nothing of that sort. You get a manual IRVM out here. Yeah. And here, if you see, you get the lights on offer. These are halogen ones. And now, best part about this is that you get a sunroof as well. The electric sunroof, not a panoramic sunroof, just a normal electric sunroof. And if I close this, so you can also see that you have to close the sun blinds uh, by your own manually. And apart from that, here if you see, you get uh, two bottle holders, cup holders, whatever. One is small, one is big. Here you get the manual handbrake. And here you get this sort of a small coin holder 
kind of um, storage space here if you see in the uh, granite in neos and the aura you get a different wavy kind of finishing and these are in different colors now in this you get a black finishing and you get a very simple texture out here so that's nice you get a all black dashboard if you see the top and the bottom part both are in uh, matte black and this part if you see is in this textured finishing here if you see you get some kind of storage space or a handle as well and if i show you the sun visor here you don't get any mirror nothing you get a ticket holder and here if you see you get a mirror on offer now let's go to the back and show you how much space is available there okay so if you see here i get a lot of leg space this seat has been adjusted to my position knee room is quite good and head room let me just flip the camera so head room is quite a lot for my height which is 57 and it and here you see you get one light also over here you get the grab handles on offer and at the back you get adjustable headrest and here you get three point seat belt for all the three occupants the middle passenger misses out on a, a headrest and yeah i'll show you the texture out here you get this green and black sort of texture dark forest green kind of color here you see you get a slight hump out here but not very pronounced so you can easily sit here uh, and be comfortable but to be very honest here you can see two people comfortably three people would be a bit of crunch here you get an ac vent and here you get a charging socket as well and a little bit of storage space here so yeah that's about it in the interior let me tell you the technical specifications of the car let me talk about the dimensions of the car the width of the car is 1710 mm the length of the car is 3815 mm the wheelbase is 2450 mm the height is 1631 mm and when you sit it will reduce a little bit and as i told you in the sx variant you get 175 by 65 r15 alloy wheels whereas in the s variant the base variant you get a 165 by 70 r14 alloy wheel. if you see the engine as i told you it is a bi fuel petrol with cng option and the power figures are 69 ps and 95.2 nm of torque transmission you get only a 5 speed manual transmission as on safety, you get a strong body structure, 6 airbags are standard, ECS, VSM, HSC are standard and TPMS highlight. Comfort, you get ample leg, knee and head room, convenience of ample boot space with dual cylinder, CNG and other features as I already showed you is a smart electric sunroof, digital cluster with color, TFT, MID, C-type fast USB charger and an integrated ECU. That's it in this video. If you like this video, do give this video a like. Also, subscribe to our channel. And after subscribing, please press the bell icon so that you never miss another update from AutoDNA. This is Rishabhari signing off. Jai Hind, Jai Bharat, Vande Mat.